Ah, there you are. High time to stop gallivanting and resume our journey together, wouldn't you say? Off we go, then. Ah, oh, my favorite godless wolf. This is Dallas's ship, but she can't have been the only one who could get it moving. It'd be too risky. And Dallas is anything but careless. There's a way to move this ship on board, I'm sure of it. Indeed? Excellent. You've shown some ingenuity. Now show me more, and search every corner of those quarters. There must be a way to control this ship tucked away somewhere. Naughty lizards. Then I suppose that rune on the figurehead was a slave scar. This tome must be the song that controls it. Well done. Go on then. Sing it to the figurehead and get her to sail. Her eyes suddenly flash a bright red. Please spare me. If you want me to spare you. We need to move. Don't mistake me, Godwoken. The order is coming, and they're coming for you. Sing the song, take control of the ship, or die. The figurehead continues its vigil over the seas. The detail is remarkable. It looks like the deck beneath you groans and trembles, like the ship itself is awaking from a slumber. A deep sigh emerges, unmistakably the sound of a living being. You... You are not the witch. You are not Dallas. You sang the song. Now you must decide my fate. Are you to be my new master? Ask. I am here to serve in all ways. The creaking of the ship eases into a contemplative silence. Once, I was an elf. I passed away and was reborn as an ancestor tree. In a beautiful forest surrounded by kin of both flesh and root. That time has passed. I saw that forest reduced to a dead place. Then I was taken away. My memories were lost, like the leaves from my branches. The sails overhead billow outwards suddenly. The sun is blocked, momentarily casting the dragon figurehead into shadow. Magisters, they raised sacred elven lands and uprooted ancestor trees from the earth. I was one of them. They... They tore me apart and turned me into this... monstrosity. The creaking of the ship beneath you ceases, as if it were awaiting your decision with bated breath. You are kind, but I can never be free again. Not truly. I am a vessel and must be guided. Let me take you wherever you wish. We can depart as soon as you are ready. The ship's awake. Good. Is she ready to sail? Dying to hear them. Meister Siva is one of a rare breed. She'd do anything in the name of a cause, and her cause happens to be you. She's desperate to meet a living Godwoken. She'll be exceedingly pleased we're en route. We'd better not leave her waiting. She's a bit particular. She's the founder of these Seekers, and she's powerful. That means something when I say it. Your kind can reach astounding heights. Meister Siva can help you do just that. A place called Driftwood, host to putrid fish, putrid dwarves, and Meister Siva herself. You'll probably find it quite comfortable. The sea awaits. There is much to explore. There is... Well, what 
have we here? The ship's alive, isn't she? A slow, toothless smile stretches across her face. To driftwood, then. It most certainly is. Forward. I respect your metal, sorcerers. You steal my ship, kill my bishop and ally with demons. But you have no idea what you're really dealing with. We are ready, mistress. Yes, but are they? I swear, mistress. I swear they'll perform admirably. <laughs> Very well. Show me. Goodbye, sorcerers. This is my ship. I won't see it taken from under my feet. You, act! Yes, this is... For the love of the void. Listen up, we can't win this one, but I can get us to safety. You need to buy me time. Show us what you can do, Godwoken. Godwoken? Parasites, rather. I'll take care of it, mistress.
will die. Here has a familiar smell, like the place you grew up. Old memories begin to well within you, but the sweet sour smell of decay suddenly punctures them. A faint creaking sounds in the distance. Is that a tree? What's hanging from it? As the cursed branches slither away from Ralik, he raises his head. Green eyes glint with sudden fire from behind his helmet. Are we the first? The others, do they hang still upon the tree? He strains at the ethereal ropes that bind him, resisting their grip. You must make haste. I am bound, but not defeated. Not yet. This is not the work of fate. It is the work of the Void. It will come for our people. It will destroy us all. You are my chosen. Now you must become the champion of our kind. The champion of humanity. I have survived our enemies. You must do more than that. You cannot comprehend what it is, but you know full well what it wants. The void will not stop until it has devoured us all. It thinks it has defeated me, defeated all the gods, but it underestimates human might. Your might, Ifan Ben Mezd, slayer of Black Ring, Silver Claw, champion of Relic. His eyes flash bright green. He struggles against his binds to no avail. You will show it. You will show them all. You have already unleashed some of the powers locked within you. But there is a great well of possibility still untapped. You cannot stop until you ascend to the highest heights of your power. You cannot stop until you become divine. Like Lucian, you will be called to unite the powers of the Seven against the Void. Like Lucian, you will lead our proud people to preeminence. But unlike Lucian, your weakness will not lead you to foolish failure. He opens his mouth to respond, but stops and tilts his head, listening for something you cannot detect. I hear the void. I hear it calling. I hear it laughing. It... It's coming! It's here! If it finds you here, if it finds you! Ralik's face twists in fear. He opens his mouth as if to scream, but no sound comes out. White hot cold pierces your heart like a blade. You are frozen to the spot. The burning cold pumps through you like a curse, and then... What's happened here? Where is everyone? The same troubled look is visible on each face. You've seen the gods beaten and defiled, strung up as a warning. I had dreams of what I should say if I saw the Seven Lords once more. But that... that was a nightmare. Gods, schmods. They aren't interested in me, and I'm not interested in them. It seems whatever's inside me is more powerful than any of them anyway. Or at least more cunning. The gods are dead. Long live the Godwoken. If the Seven should indeed come to nothing, I'll be ready to take their place. Find other. 
the means so that we can leave. The one who brought us here. The demon that wears the face of my kin. Only she can set the course back to the land of the living. She is here still. I can feel her. Death washed over me as we entered this place. I felt many lives extinguish in a single moment. But others still draw breath. They are sheltering below decks. somewhere safe from the storm I hope not a soul down here just stillness Sabeel's spirit watches your approach like a spectator on a beach watches the waves roll in with a soothing inevitability. Bean. I can't keep this up much longer. We need to go. There's no time. I can't hold us here. Brace yourself. This might hurt a lot. 